All right, everybody, so I'm back again with another review. Today, I'm reviewing uh, DC Universe Superpower uh, Shazam, or Captain Marvel, or Billy Batson. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Billy Batson, Billy Batson was a child, or should I say he is a child that was bestowed upon him the power of Shazam by the wizard Shazam, which... By uttering the phrase, Shazam, it allows him to transform into this mountain of man muscle. The, I believe it's the Earth's mightiest mortal, Captain Marvel Shazam. Um, Shazam is an acronym for a lot of uh, Greek heroes from mythology. I don't know all of them off the top of my head. But I know uh, he has great strength, that of which rivals even that of Superman. Uh, he has the ability to control lightning, and he's magic-based. So for those of you who think, oh, well, he can't mess with Superman, well, mm, if he had more battle experience, who knows, maybe. But he is magic. <clears throat> and you have to understand he has the mind of a child. So there's that. But that being said, I, at the same time, I got the, uh, the Cyclotron, which was in a previous video. I got this guy from the same convention. I believe I got him for $10. I got him on the cheap. And I'm glad I did because I went through a phase where I really, really, really liked Captain Marvel. And then just all of a sudden, DC decided, nope, and he just fell off. And I don't know what's going on with Captain Marvel right now. I have no idea. But I'm glad that I picked up this classic Captain Marvel and we are going to talk about this guy's articulation right now. So the arm goes around 360. He's got a bicep swivel, goes around. Uh, it's the same thing for the other side too, so I'm not going to go through it. Uh, he doesn't have a uh, forearm swivel, but he does have a wrist swivel. Head goes around 360. I do not believe this is... A, yeah, it is. It's on a ball peg. So it gets you up to about there and down to about there, which is really not a lot. <clears throat> he does have an abdominal hinge, which gets you to about whoops, I'm not, about there and back to about there. It'd probably go back a little further if his um, cape wasn't so much of a hindrance. That's an issue that I will address. He does have a uh, waist swivel. It does go around 360, but this belt sort of acts as a bit of a hindrance to the to the waist swivel. So I don't want to like spin this all the way around. Um, he has the same uh, waist hip gimmick as um, the Cyclotron. So it gets you out to about there. Get you whoo. Get you up to about there. And back to about there, which is really nice. Same thing as the Cyclotron, too. He's got the lower leg, um, the lower thigh swivel that gets you around all the way. Same thing on the other side. Single jointed uh, knee. Oh, yeah, single jointed elbow, too. No uh, thigh swivel. Oh, yeah, no thigh swivel. Huh. Interesting. So he's got a foot that gets you up to about right there. <laughs> You got it goes back super far, which is super nice. <clears throat> okay, so before we go any further, I want to talk about these cape. This cape. Now I have a Mary Marvel figure that has this same cape. I also have a Power Girl that has the same cape, and I wish that it was a floating piece that came off. I really do. Like I really do, because this is a soft plastic, but it ain't that soft. And it does it gives you like look at that look how thick that plastic is it's not it gives you no give it gives you no give as far as articulation all of this is connected to the figure this this uh, rope here all of it is just connected to the figure this can't spin because the cape is in the way now I could ca cut the cape off but that would be asinine. Uh, as far as like aesthetics go, he looks like Captain Marvel. He looks like how Captain Marvel is supposed to look, and I'm fine with that. I think the dude looks good. 
My only gripe really would be that he's got like this huge, look at his legs and then look at his upper body. Like he's got a huge, huge upper body. He's got that barrel chest, but that sort of goes along with how the character looks in the comic. He's sort of like this barrel chested type of character that's just, you know, dun da da da. Like I'm here to save the day and my chest is out, you know, like I'm I'm a superhero. I'm here to save the I'm here to save the day. I'm, I'm Captain Marvel, I damn it. And that's what I'm here to do. One thing that I've always had a problem with with figures. I know Captain Marvel is supposed to be like a relatively happy guy, but I've never agreed <laughs> with look at his face. I've never agreed with having like the super cheese smile because it breaks up, I guess, the, the, it doesn't allow for good storytelling when you're trying to do toy photography, especially if you're trying to do a battle scene. If you're trying to do a fight scene, it really throws off the entire, con not continuity, but it's sort of like, it breaks the tone of the intensity of what you're trying to do when they're super, super, super cheesing like that. But all in all, you know, there's not too many, like, because it's just red plastic. It's not like red paint. It's just like red plastic. So, you know, the odds of the paint chipping is not there because there's no paint to chip uh, until you get into, like, the gold uh, gauntlets here. And the gold trims here, like all that looks really nice. Look at that. All that looks really nice. All the paint was is inside the lines. And I know I keep saying I'm not a paint guy, but yet I'm always constantly referring to paint. I think the hair looks good. But like I don't really know the, the intricacies of how that works. I just know what I see and what looks good. But all in all, if you if you are a Billy Batson fan and you like Captain Marvel the way I like Captain Marvel. I'm not a diehard Captain Marvel fan, but I do like the character. I do enjoy reading his stories, especially when he's prominently featured doing like incredible feats of strength or speed or power. I thought that he was fantastic in a Kingdom Come. For those of you who have ever read that, <clears throat> I think they completely jobbed him out in Injustice. So he got his head, got his brains burned out. But um, as far as a character goes, you know, they, I don't know, they could do more with him than what they're doing. But at the same time, I understand why they haven't, but I wish that they would capitalize a little bit more on guys like this. He has a rich history. You know, he's a strong, powerful character. And here he is next to Mary Marvel. Uh, they come from the same toy line, the same Marvel Universe superpower line. So they really do look like they go together. They aesthetically are very pleasing. Both of them wearing the red. They both have that same cape issue. But all in all, if you like this guy then I highly recommend picking him up. If you're a DC fan, I say go for it. If you can find if you can buy him on the cheap, I wouldn't recommend paying more than more than $15 for this guy. Not him. Not him. But you know, if you can get him on the cheap, I say go for it. He's a solid figure. Joints work good. Joints work the way they're supposed to. You know, aesthetically he looks fine. Um there's nothing dr too drastically wrong with him, so I say, hey, if you can sort of get like the little like uh, Marvel House of Shazam family thing going, I say go for it. So until next time, this is the Bay Area's only tour reviewer, Carl, and I'll see you next time.